he's in real trouble and it is self-inflicted. And I just see too many of the candidates trying to walk around it. We'll see what happens. Donald Trump doesn't represent the Republican Party. He doesn't. Rep he only represents himself. And that was New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu advising the Republican presidential candidates to unite against Trump and take him on directly. He also will be on Eric Bowling the balance tonight. You see that at the bottom right. Uh, this comes as many in the GOP are coming to former President Trump's defense at the moment. As we know, it's a very crowded field for that Republican nomination. With us now, Mercedes Schlapp is a former White House strategic senior advisor. Also with us, Rick Gates, former Trump campaign aide. Welcome to you both. As we heard from Governor Sununu there, uh, he wants to call out Trump in this case, at least, again, what's brought forward by Jack Smith and the special counsel. We've also heard from former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson with a similar strategy. Mercedes, are we going to start seeing more Republican candidates go after Donald Trump? Well, the never Trumpers will go after Donald Trump. That's very predictable. And they're in line with the Democrats and the leftist media that's focused on taking Donald Trump down. Look, the reality is, is that we have a Biden DOJ that's been politicized uh, to go after its political opponent. This is what we see in countries like in Latin America, uh, for example, where you see uh, the opposition going after uh, their political uh, competitors. And so I think that for Sununu to come out and make these comments of, say, take on Donald Trump, that's only going to further divide the Republican Party. If our goal is to defeat Biden in 2024, the Republicans need to unite. We know that this has been uh, a DOJ that's been after uh, President Trump for quite some time. And quite frankly, when you look at this indictment, again, you have to ask yourself, why, why didn't they focus on the Presidential Records Act? Instead, they went to espionage. Their whole goal was always to say that Donald Trump committed treason. Treason. That in and of itself, I think, is just so anti-democracy. Uh, it's so bad for what we have in terms of our stability of our government. From the broad strokes here, Rick Gates, uh, we've seen um, President Trump face a slew of uh, legal issues in the state of New York with his business in New York City, um, with the hush money payments, uh, with E. Jean Carroll, um, fined liable for that. Again, that is not, uh, was not criminal, but a civil case down in Georgia, uh, January 6th. And now what you're seeing here play out tomorrow in Miami. And you've seen, despite it all, Trump still rises in the polls. Do you think that's going to continue with this latest uh, indictment, Rick? Well, I think in terms of the indictments, yes. I mean, what we're seeing from the CBS poll, which obviously is not a uh, right-leaning uh, poll at all, so it suggests that the American people are looking at this, you know, kind of separately. This is not just about an indictment, but this is about the weaponization of government against any American citizen. Republican or Democrat. So I think if you look at the indictments and the way that they're coming out, President Trump is going to continue to rise in the polls. The rest, in terms of his messaging, his campaign, and as he, you know, is passed uh, tomorrow in Miami and what that brings, I think it'll be very important mm -hmm. for him to focus on the future, talking about what he's going to do for America in 2024. Uh, but make no mistake, I mean, any Republican contender that goes after President Trump on this, they risk losing and alienating that large chunk of the base, which is absolutely loyal to Donald Trump. So I don't think you're going to see a, a too many Republican contenders actually criticize Trump on this. They're going to let it play out, see where it happens. Uh, as we all know, politics, one day is an eternity. Anything can change tomorrow, next week, or next month. Yeah, so true. There's still a lot of time even before the presidential debate, which is going to happen later this summer. That will be fascinating to watch to see how the candidates might even bring up this indictment. Mercedes and Rick, thanks for weighing in with us this morning. Appreciate it. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks.